Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly and easily build the brand new B-Brain Lite flight controller. In this build, I will be using a B-Brain Lite flight controller. This is the FR Sky variant. Also supports the Futaba protocol, a clear cockroach frame, a set of gold BDR motors, and a set of King Kong props. Let's go ahead and dig into the B-Brain Lite. Go ahead and pull the sticker up on the side of the casing like so. Then you'll have the canopy and the camera pull out with the flight controller like so. And we have all our grommets and screws and stuff. Set that to the side. Those are important. I like to kind of tilt this upside down so they all spill out in the tray like that. Then you can finish taking the sticker off like the case. And then you have a nice little tray. Set that to the side. Go ahead and bring back our flight controller. You can see the camera is already plugged in on top of the flight controller board. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and just unplug that gently like so. Set the camera to the side. Then we can actually grab our cockroach frame. Pull that guy out. And you're going to want to orient the USB plug to the back of the uh, cockroach frame. The back of it is going to have these two side little um, gaps right here. You can see how this side is just one big thing and there's not these two little side things. So this is the back side and we're going to actually tuck the battery connector into the left side. This is going to push into that left side of that little gaps. So go ahead and just push that into the gap area. The cockroach frame will just kind of bend around it like so. Once that's in, it'll just pop through. You can see that easily goes through and then kind of orient it in the direction it's going to be. And you can see this is why we do it because the battery connector actually just comes out of that little gap right there so it doesn't get pinched. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and start putting your grommets on. After you get the grommets on, go ahead and just place it over the little pins that are going to go through the grommet holes. Then you can just gently push it down on so it's nice and secured like that. Like so. Make sure it's even all across it. There we go. Uh, now we can actually install the screw on the front of the flight, uh, the, uh, flight controller board where the camera is going to go. Because as you can see on the canopy, there is no screw hole. It only screws in by the two sides in the back. Grab your tiny little Phillips. I'm just going to get a screw. I highly suggest a magnetic screwdriver as it makes this really easy. Go ahead and just line that up in the hole and screw it in nice and gently until it's sitting snug on the grommet. You don't want to cinch it down all the way, otherwise it'll squeeze it and push the other side up. Now grab your camera and canopy. We're just going to grab the actual plug connector right here and that guy's going to get plugged right into the little camera plug that's sitting right there on top of the FC board. So line that up and just give a little snug push in. After that's in, grab your VTX antenna, fish it through the hole in the canopy, and then we can kind of just jiggle this around how we want it oriented. And let's see, that's going to look good to me right about there. Okay, so get that situated and then get another screw on the tip of your screwdriver. And we can start screwing in the side screws into the grommets. Once we have those all three in, you can either have your antenna hang out like this. I like to kind of just tuck mine back in there so it's kind of sticking halfway out like that to give it a little bit lower of a profile. And then you can take the receiver antenna, which is a little yellow wire. You can even either leave it in there or you can push it through one of these tiny little holes in the top of the canopy. I like putting it through the holes on the top so that way it's just sticking out kind of like that. Take your set of gold motors or whatever color motors you want. And a little trick I like to do for the motors is you take each one and you'll actually twist the wires like this. So it makes it a lot tidier and it strengthens the cables up a little bit and helps resist them uh, popping out and breaking. So just do that real quick to all four of your motors. Shouldn't take you more than about, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds at the most. All right, once those are all done, uh, if you're using the standard configuration of how the Betaflight uh, props in works, and this is how it's going to ship. You want to take the black and white wire, which is the counterclockwise uh, direction, and put this in the top right duct. Fish that through. Also align the wires so that the little um, 
pin that sticks up at the bottom of the cocker chain doesn't pinch the wires. You want them to go uh, through it like that. After that's through, you can take the um, motor wire plug and just plug that into the bottom of the FC like so, and that's it. So now we're just gonna do the rest for the other three ones. And then of course, red and blue will go on the front left and vice versa with going in the rear right. Once that's complete, our last step is putting on the props. Take a counterclockwise prop and put that on the top right. Push it down and then do another counterclockwise prop and do it on the rear left. Take a clockwise prop and put it on the front left motor and take another clockwise prop and put it on the rear right motor. And that's it guys, that's a completed B-Brain light build using our cockroach frame, set of gold motors, King Kong props. Pretty simple. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.